South-South and Triangular Cooperation took center stage at Friday's session of ECOSOC's 2012 high-level segment. Lessons learned, institutions for South-South Development Cooperation and emerging trends. These themes produce both provocative and pragmatic insight on how developing and developed nations can and do work together to help fight poverty and build their economies and societies while preserving the planet. The South-South cooperation strengthens the capacity of Global South during negotiation with the North through cooperative efforts aiming at solving issues of trade development and the new international economic governance as well. In addition to the traditional uh, uh, area like uh, education, healthcare, agriculture, so we, uh, now we could uh, step on the urban development, uh, climate change adaptation and mitigation, green growth implementation, uh, dealing with uh, the rising diseases uh, and IT uh, industries. Trade within the same region between developing countries tends to uh, create more uh, value added and uh, uh, help diversification which we believe is important and so there's a lot of potential there. Participants concurred that South-South cooperation does not replace North-South cooperation and noted that demand-driven South-South and triangular cooperation help to diversify and build upon experience, knowledge sharing and technology transfer for development. Zambia and Malaysia partnered and supported by the government of Japan uh, to establish an entity that uh, created uh, employment. And we've seen that company produce um, volumes of cheap cell phones. And in the process, skills has been transferred from Malaysia into Zambia. And uh, we've had technology come into the country and essentially capital come into the country. And ultimately, uh, there's been creation of, uh, of employment. The systemization of South-South cooperation was also recommended for establishing rules and norms, transparency and periodic measures that could come from a multilateral space such as the UN. It has to be a certain uh, area of coordination of, at the global level, but this coordination has to be done in the UN. There are, have been other initiatives with other very positive aspects, some of them, but we in Uruguay we believe that the UN is the most universal and legitimate place to lead this process of coordination of the South-South cooperation at the global level. It's important to uh, find solutions for the specific problems together. So I don't accept that there is a problem of hunger because of lack of money or lack of capital. Only the system and only approach of uh, sincerity. The value of South-South cooperation is unquestionable, yet experts agree that South-South cooperation is still a work in progress, where developing countries will remain dependent on developed countries and the sensitivities of the market for some time to come. The drive for development cooperation was also a major topic at Rio Plus 20, where leaders from governments, international institutions, civil society, and the private sector all voiced a strong commitment to existing partnerships and called for the creation of new and stronger ones that will most efficiently and effectively solve the challenges of sustainable development. Where do we go from Rio Plus 20? Now is the time for words to be followed by action. Political will needs to be translated into tangible progress on the ground. Increasingly development in the 21st century is going to be about linking people, countries, communities, experiences, ideas and best practice. I think there's now a global recognition that in order to advance any agenda, particularly the sustainable development agenda, that there has to be partnerships between all stakeholders. Concluding the penultimate day of this meeting were discussions focusing on forging ahead to establish new partnerships for the future of development and an interactive debate where representatives of a wide variety of stakeholders freely shared ideas on how cooperation could move the world forward. South-South News will bring you more of ECOSOC's 2012 high-level segment on Monday, where a ministerial declaration is expected to be adopted. I'm Afaf Kanja for South-South News at the United Nations.